Hi, this is Frank from the RecordingLife.com, and today I'm here with what would probably be my favorite piece of quote-unquote low-end equipment, the Art Pro MPA2. This is a two-channel tube preamplifier. Uh, it has a low-cut filter that allowing you to basically EQ out those really low frequencies that are only going to compete with your bass and your kick drum and your final mix and that you're probably better off just cutting out before you even get into the uh, computer. Uh, it features a, a variable impedance as well. Um, you can change the actual impedance uh, going to the microphone. Uh, this really helps with basically just coloring the mic and the sound coming in. Uh, this is particularly effective when you're dealing with ribbon mics, but it also has its impact with um, condensers and even dynamic mics. Uh, right here you have a plus 20 gain. This is really, if you're really trying to kick the, the, the sound out of this uh, amplifier, really hit it hard. It's pretty much the way, the place you want to go. Uh, phantom power as well on both channels. Uh, this tube voltage button is something that a lot of the users are not totally uh, sure about. The Pro MPA series are indeed tube preamplifiers. You'll find a lot of the time on these internet forums, uh, people self self-declared experts on audio saying that it's a starved plate design and that you can't get a tube sound and all kinds of other nonsense. Uh, while it is indeed a, uh, a hybrid uh, design, it is a, t a tube preamplifier. The signal does go through a 12 AX7 tube and it is part of the amplification process. It's not just slapped in there as an effect. It actually, it does play part in the amplification of the signal. Uh, you also find here that the unit also has a, a stereo capability. By pressing this button right here, lights up, that ends up allowing you to control the gain in both channels from this knob and allowing the uh, output level on the right hand side to function more as a balance uh, knob. So, you know, there are many cases in which this would be desirable. There's been a lot said and a lot written about art products. And I have to say that when it comes to the blind shootouts that I've seen, that I've participated in, it always comes out in the middle or at the top. Uh, you do not need to spend loads and loads of money to get a good professional sounding recording. What you do need is know-how. And a piece of equipment like this in the right hands can give excellent results. I highly recommend jumping on eBay, grabbing one used for 200, they usually they go for about 180 to $220, uh, swap out the tubes if your heart so desires, and give it a chance. Uh, try it with some acoustic guitars, try it with a bunch of different types of mic, uh, try it uh, as drum overheads. You'll find that it is an excellent piece of equipment, not just for the price, but just all around an excellent piece of equipment. Um, I look forward to reading some of your comments and uh, talk to you soon.